So in tonight's tutorial we're just going to do a simple watercolour mountain tutorial. We're just going to use a few colours, uh, some light red, probably some cerulean blue, yellow ochre, burnt umber, raw umber, probably along those lines. So what we might do first is we might just uh, wet the page. Might just put in a bit of a sky. So we're using, again, same as the, the last lesson, we're using Archer's Watercolour Medium 300 GSM uh, paper. It's, it's nice and thick uh, and it, it's got a fair bit of sizing in it, so you know, it's pretty, pretty easy to work with really. So we're just going to put in a little bit of a sky, but not much, just a little bit of a... So I know it doesn't look like much, but sometimes you don't want the sky to be a huge subject. So we'll just, we'll just dry this. So the next thing we'll do is the mountains. And if, if you wanted to, there would be nothing to stop you, you know, sketching in some of those mountain ranges if you wanted to. I, I often prefer not to. I sometimes might have a reference, but I prefer not to because I don't really want those pencil marks to get in the way of me lifting out some lights or changing it if I want to, so we'll just get some a pretty strong mix of light red and we'll just come in. And I'm just using a flat nylon brush. Just tilt it a bit. So I've just got a bit of cerulean blue here. Alright, let's dry this. Alright, I might just add in a bit more.
All right, we'll dry this again. So I, I don't have any removable tape at the moment. I need to go and buy some. So normally I would get some removable tape and if I wanted to put some sort of body of water in across here, but I will just do this today without a, without that. So it'll just be by freehand. And um, of course I've, I've wet it and then dried it out a bit so that it's wet, but not, it's damp, but not completely wet. And so I want the water to come across. Of course, it'll be hard to see potentially because it's not a uh, strong pigment there. So, Right, when you wet the paper, it's always a good idea to dry it after. And of course, if I wanted to, and I wanted to make it a bit stronger without using stronger pigment above, then I could just uh, bring in the ruler. All right, there we go. That's the uh, end of a, a simple watercolor mountain tutorial. I'm just really, you know, just very simple. Some, you know, a bit of uh, sky with a bit of light red and a tiny little bit that was left over in the brush of the cobalt blue light, um, cobalt blue light red mix. And then we just brought in the mountain with a flat nylon. Uh, uh, with light red and then we brought in um, cerulean blue for a bit of shadow washed that all out and we brought in a bit of yellow ochre a bit of burnt umber washed that out dried that then we came in with a heat brush with some more some stronger burnt umber and then some cerulean blue did a bit of scratching out if we wanted to we could just do a little bit of spraying onto this area just here Just let it sit there for a little bit. You're looking at the reflection of it against the against the light, and I can see that. And it, we'll see how this goes. If I wipe that out, you can see that it's. You could do that like grass heads, and if you see some really big dollops, you don't have to wipe them out. You can just leave them. Or if you want to wipe them out, like there's a big dollop here, I can wipe that out, and you'll see that. Okay. So whoa, it's pretty cool. But you could choose not to wipe that out. So whatever you see, you could choose to wipe out or not wipe out. Like there's a big dollop right here, and I'm not going to wipe that out. There's dollops on here even, even though I tried to protect it. There's some dollops of water on there, but I'm not going to wipe them out. So they'll just dry without me disturbing them. They'll just dry. So that big dollop there, I could have just not wiped that out or that if I chose to. I just wanted to show you guys what you know happens when you wipe that out but you, you can choose to do what you want to do with that with that and it's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful fine effect obviously it depends on the degree of mist that you're creating with your spray or whether you're producing big droplets or not so um 
So that's the end of that tutorial. Thanks for joining me and um, I'll see you in the next one. Good night.